statewide, there are new restrictions in place and local businesses could just be days away from having to dial back reopenings. News 8's Netta Ronport joins us live from Pacific Beach with a closer look at where we're heading now. Netta. Yes, yeah, so 19 counties across California now have stricter uh, restrictions, I should say, in place implemented by the governor. All Southern California counties, except for us right here in San Diego, will have to implement these new rules. Right now, as you see, we are here in PB. Places like Tower 23 can have indoor and outdoor dining. Around us, though, in other counties all across our state, that's not the case. Indoor dining now required to close. And San Diego County currently being flagged, which means throughout the weekend, they are expecting us to be on that watch list. And that could mean some big changes as early as Monday. The county of San Diego is not on that watch list yet, but the recent comeback of this virus is pushing us closer to that watch list, and we want to avoid that if we possibly can. And I'll... If your car is speeding down the road toward a cliff, you hit the brakes. We are hitting the brakes now to avoid going over that cliff. So let's explain what's going on here with what they're monitoring. County leaders say on June 30th, San Diego County was flagged because we had 105 cases for every 100,000 residents. We were flagged again on July 1st. And if we hit that number of 100 cases for every 100,000 residents yet again today, then that would be three days of being flagged, which would then put us on the watch list. If we remain on that watch list for July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, then on Monday, July 6th, we would be forced to pause many businesses openings for a minimum of three weeks. So those 19 counties that currently have to implement those restrictions make up 70% of the state's population. They must now follow those state health orders requiring them to curtail all indoor activities at a number of venues like restaurants, movie theaters, zoos, museums, wineries, and tasting rooms. Now, County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher did point out that at the beginning of this pandemic, back in March, when those stay-at-home orders were issued, we were able to see the number of cases going down in our county and throughout the state, and he wants residents throughout San Diego to remember what we went through then and to recommit to those actions. At the outset of coronavirus, we, we came together as a community, uh, every faction, uh, every region, every community, every political party, uh, and we came together in a spirit of solidarity. We did a tremendous uh, feat in, in flattening the curve. Uh, because we were united, we understood the consequences, and we took action. Uh, today is a day that should be a stark reminder that we have to summon that same spirit. And taking a look back here live in Pacific Beach, it's only Thursday. Of course, the holiday weekend is coming. And from lifeguards to city and county leaders, state leaders, they all expect big crowds to come out. And really, they cannot reiterate enough the importance of staying with the people in your household. They're seeing a lot of families and friends getting together for parties at people's houses or going out to eat. And that's where a lot of these cases are coming out of. So that is why they want to mention recommitting to staying with your household unit, even if it is a holiday. L.A. Ventura County beaches will be closing. San Diego's remaining open. And so, yes, those crowds will be coming and social distance wearing those masks will be key. We are live here in Pacific Beach. We'll send it back to you.